Daisy, the diesel rail car's work in the countryside was full of surprises. But she was frightened of bulls and cows, and she remained very lazy and stubborn. One day, Toby brought Wind, Bunny, and Henrietta to the junction, where Percy, Lola, and Tails were grumbling, shunting. Hello, Percy, Lola, and Tails. I see Daisy left the milk again. We'll have to make a special journey with it, I suppose. Yeah, anyone would think we have nothing to do. Tell you what, guys, why don't we take the milk? And you guys set to these free cars. Everyone agreed, and when Bunny talked to the station master all about it, he agreed as well. Percy, Lola, and Tails have never been to the quarry before. Percy began ordering the freight cars about. Hi, hello. The freight cars grumbled to each other. This is Toby's place. Percy's got no right to poke his funnel in here and push us around. They whispered and passed the word. Pay Percy back. Pay Percy back. Come along. No nonsense, you lot. <laughs> we'll give them nonsense. <laughs> they followed Percy, Tails and Lola so quietly that they thought they were under control. Suddenly they saw a notice ahead. All trains stopped to pin down brakes. Right then. Where's that down? Okay, Percy? Okay then, Lola. Oh, no, we're not. Go on, 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 on! The man on duty at the crossing rushed to warn traffic with his red flag, but was too late to switch Percy to the runaway siding. Frantically trying to grip the rails, Percy slid into the yard. Look out! The brake van was in smithereens. Lola and Tails have jumped clear, but Percy was stranded. Later, Sir Topham Hatt arrived. Toby, Bunny, Fiona Fox and Daisy helped to clear the mess, but Percy remained on his perch of freight cars. We must now try to run the branch line with Toby, Bunny, Fiona and the Diesel. You are put in an awkward predicament, Percy. I am sorry, sir. You should stay there until we are ready. Perhaps I will teach you to be careful with freight cars. Percy sighed. The cars groaned beneath his wheels. He quite understood about awkward predicaments. Sir Topham Hatt spoke severely to Daisy, too. My engines work hard. I send lazy engines away. Daisy was ashamed. However, Toby and Bunny says you and Fiona Fox worked hard after Percy's accident. So you shall have another chance, Daisy. Oh, thank you, sir. I will work hard, sir. Toby and Bunny says they'll help me and Fiona. Excellent. What Toby and Bunny doesn't know branch line troubles isn't worth knowing. Our Toby's an experienced engine, and our Bunny is an experienced animal. The next day, Thomas came back, and Percy was sent to be mended. Annie and Clarabelle were delighted to see Thomas again, and so were Sonic and Geo. And Geo introduced Thomas to Wind. Hello there, Wind. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Thomas. And Thomas took them for a run at once. It's great to have you back, Thomas. It's great to be back, Geo. Great to be back. All are now friends, and Toby and Bunny had taught Daisy and Fiona a great deal. They shooed a cow off the line the other day all by themselves. That shows you, doesn't it? <laughs>